Good morning everyone. It is Thursday morning the 11th of March and our reading for this morning again in our series with Lent is from John chapter 7. We're going to read the last verse of John 7 and the first 11 verses of John 8. So let's read this together. Then the meeting broke up and everyone went home. Jesus returned to the Mount of Olives But early the next morning he went back again to the temple. A crowd soon gathered and he sat down and he taught them. As he was speaking, the teachers of religious law and the Pharisees brought a woman who had been caught in the act of adultery. They put her in front of the crowd. Teacher, they said to Jesus, this woman was caught in the act of adultery. The law of Moses says to stone her. What do you say? They were trying to trap him into saying something they could use against him. But Jesus stooped down and wrote in the dust with his finger. They kept demanding an answer. So he stood up again and said, All right, but let the one who has never sinned throw the first stone. Then he stooped down again and wrote in the dust. The accusers heard, when the accusers heard this, they slipped away one by one, beginning with the oldest, until only Jesus was left in the middle of the crowd with the woman. Then Jesus stood up again and said to the woman, Where are your accusers? Didn't even one of them condemn you? No, Lord, she said. And then Jesus said, Neither do I. Go and sin no more. Amen. It's a really well-known part of the John's Gospel. Um, Maybe if you are reading this with your Bible, if you get your Bible down and you have a look at it, you'll notice that the last verse of John chapter 7 and those first verses of John 8 Um, are marked off as being separate as such and it says this passage is not found in most ancient Greek manuscripts. So whenever they had some copies of the Greek Bible at first that particular section wasn't in it but as they found more and more copies of the Bible it was in it so the decision was made to include it in our Bible which is really good because it teaches something really important. So the the Pharisees want to trap Jesus and they bring this woman. First of all, they only brought the woman. They didn't bring the man. They should have brought both people who were accused of the adultery. um, Stone them both because it takes two people. But they just bring the woman. Um, She's like the scapegoat. And they try to get Jesus to make a judgment call on her. But Jesus is so wise and says nothing. And then whenever he does speak, he says that the person who has never sinned threw the first stone. Jesus recognises, Jesus teaches us that all sin is sin. doesn't matter what the sin is, it's all wrong. And that that's what he's telling us about it. You know, you might say this lady has committed such and such a sin, okay? But what sin have you committed in your life? We're all sinners. And it's interesting, again, because the passage talks about how the crowd, the, the accuser slipped away from the oldest down to the youngest. So the, the oldest, who were probably the wisest, got first they realized what Jesus was getting at saying that we've all sinned we've all done things which are wrong so how can we point the finger at somebody else Jesus doesn't judge her he just lifts his head and says go and sin no more that's what Jesus asks us to do to trust him and then to do our very best to keep following him without committing sin but we will you know, there are times whenever we'll do things which are wrong, that's fine. We can still come back and ask for forgiveness. But thankfully, it is God that judges us, not the world around us. And God knows our hearts. So may that be a, an encouragement to us this morning, as well as a challenge about our behaviour today, about how we live, that we live for Christ. Let's pray together. Father, thank you again for this morning. Thank you again for your word, how it speaks to us even today. Lord, something that was written so long ago and yet is so relevant to us. Father, help us in the challenges that it brings to us about how we live our lives and help us to live our lives for you. So Lord, thank you again for this day that you have blessed us with. Go with us and help us, we pray in Christ's name. Amen. Thanks, folks, for watching this morning. Take care and God bless. And I'll see you again tomorrow morning if you're about. Okay, bye for now.